We're on Haystack Road headed east right through the middle of Poison Canyon. On the horizon you can see Mount Taylor, a 12,000 foot high extinct volcano. Incidentally, there's a uranium mine right there at the mountain that's presently closed. Over on the left side of the road, you might notice those reddish outcroppings of uh, rock, which is uh, part of the Morrison Formation. It's a formation that runs all the way up into Colorado that was formed during the late Jurassic period. And it's been a rich source of dinosaur fossils and yes, uranium deposits. Uranium was mined here along Poison Canyon from 1951 until 1982. Eventually, Haystack Road ends right here at the intersection of Highway 605, and this is where we'll be stopping to take a little walk and see if we can do a little prospecting. Walk right up over that hill right there, see what we find. We have a pretty good area right here. Okay, so this looks pretty good. This appears to be an outcropping of Poison Canyon sandstone. It would be the host rock for the uranium that we are looking for. Uranium ore would be embedded inside of the sandstone. And what we would look for is some reddish uh, to yellowish uh, stains on the surface of the sandstone. A swirl-like looking stain. And that would be the uranium oxide and that's where we'll take a reading with our Geiger counter. Gonna move on a little further in toward the ridges. I know a professor over in Gallup that knows a lot about Poison Canyon, and according to him, back in 2016, the EPA came in here with bulldozers and buried all the exposed piles of ore that were left from the mining operations. Then they smoothed over the ground and returned it to just a cattle grazing area. Before that happened, prospecting was probably much more exciting and much easier just to walk up to one of these uh, ore piles and get some high grade or fun with your Geiger counter. If you're like me, you thought that the name Poison Canyon probably had something to do with radiation for the uranium ore itself, right? Well, no, as it turns out, nah, that's not the case. Back in 1951, I think it was, uh, a sheep herder discovered that all his sheep were getting sick or some dying and he also thought that it probably had something to do with the uranium but as it turned out it was not uranium it was uh, selenium poisoning some plant they were eating had high levels of selenium and as it turned out they were just getting poisoned by that so that's what it was There's a little wash right there where the water flows. Now I'm picking up some ticking from my pocket counter. So we've got a little radiation going on here.
try to isolate it to something. Let's see. Okay. Now this is the host rock, uh, this, this host rock is sandstone, but the first uh, uranium ore that was discovered here was in limestone, a certain type of limestone called Codilto limestone. But what we have here is the sandstone. Did you get that pancake probe sealed real good? Yeah, I tried. Okay, my new probe is now hooked up to my old school vintage Geiger counter. We'll see how it works. <laughs> Let's start there. How do you get in there without the shadow? It might be a little too close. It went off. Doing now. Well, not too high, not too low. Not too bad, not too good. <laughs> but not 3.6 rankings. <laughs> okay. Now, Miss. You know we've been here over two hours? Yeah, I noticed that. I was thinking about heading on back to Grant's and maybe we'll go to Taco Bell. Sounds good. Okay. Across the road is what's commonly known as the monolith. Big, huge rock uh, rising up. Uh, probably looks pretty small on this camera, but maybe you can see it straight over. By the way, if you like this video about uranium, mines, exploring, radiation, all that sort of thing, please hit the subscribe button because I've got more coming. All of the mines have been reclaimed and recovered over around here in Poison Canyon. There's still some remnants. You can find some radioactive rocks here and there. If you look long enough and hard enough. Would have been fun to come out here before they reclaimed everything. It would have been like a prospector's paradise. So for now, we're just gonna head on back to Grant's and leave Poison Canyon here with the cows.